Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today we're going to talk about the stock market this week. It was a bit of a rough week uh, this week and uh, we're going to go through it and I wanted to make a bit of a video that was a bit more of uh, one of those videos, a bit more of a pep talk, helping you through the current stock market, what has happened this week and one of those videos that is like the buy the dip video that we did a few months ago and uh, we still joke about that a little bit on the Discord but I think it did help quite a few people and uh, just that confidence to you know be like don't worry this is normal things will get better in the stock market and yeah it was a bit of a um, a bit of a testing week I guess I'm sure most of the people watching this video your portfolio got hurt a little bit and it, it was a combination of a few things really I think first of all what happened is we had a lot of the small market cap companies on the US front still getting hurt so if you had any small market cap companies on the US front they would have been probably hurt this week um, and then basically as well what happened is I think the US kind of got a bit more of the numbers starting to come into like uh, infections because of the uh, the new variant. I'm gonna have to try and code name a lot of these stuff on YouTube because otherwise it doesn't it doesn't go well down uh, with the team over there on YouTube. Uh, I know I know it's crazy, but hey. Um, so yeah, the new kind of uh, variant that is uh, arriving in at the US, and I think that kind of uh, spooked a few US investors. Obviously, us guys that are in the UK scene, we've kind of known how. Um, this can increase the amount of cases uh, for a, a little bit but I think the US has kind of that now it's kind of getting a bit more over there that they can realize in that okay you know it kind of spooks the market I'm not going to get political about how much effect it will have on the economy or what things should change I'm, I'm going to leave that for another day that's not my my place to speak I'm going to be sp speaking about stocks here um but yeah you know I think that kind of that worry kind of went into investors and you had even like in the kind of it's weird because you had the small market cap companies and the small market cap companies that would benefit from a serious uh, cases explosion they went down and then you also had travel stocks because of cases going up going down and pretty much loads of stuff went down um, even some of the companies that have been performing very well like here Microsoft for example they had a little bit of a bump they're still kind of high up on 52 week highs but yeah there was definitely a lot of small market cap companies that got hurt even companies that would do okay in that situation we're still getting hurt like Corsair but even like I say a lot of uh, like Carnival Cruise the Carnival Cruise had an awful week uh, this week and that one went down a little bit and then what also happened on the UK front we had a lot of UK front uh, stocks going down as well it wasn't you know this isn't a video really about just the you know small market cap companies there was a lot of companies UK companies were hurt a little bit as well and the UK companies same again I think it was just kind of people just getting a little bit worried a little bit worried about um you know we kind of thought we were getting towards the end which I feel like we are getting towards the end but they're kind of like okay can we just make it through and seeing the cases going up and a little bit of a you know wobble of like okay you know if we get to winter time could this you know is this going to get really bad again and I think the market's just a little bit spooked at the moment it's going through a little bit of a phase um, but generally when we get to the the whole point of the video in particular which I wanted to kind of focus on like small market cap companies if we have a look at the Russell 2000 um, and this will probably be the same for a lot of uh, small market cap companies that you guys own. Um, these these small market cap companies have pretty much done nothing for the last few months. You know, if we look here, you know, since February, the Russell 2000 um, is down five percent. And you know, in that time, you know, there's been plenty of times where look, it, it dropped six percent. We're up, we're up ten percent, uh, and then from here we drop eight percent, and then we'll go up. It's been quite a bumpy ride of going up and down eight percent, but overall over a course of period since February and if you have any small market cap US companies you would notice this is it's they've done they've done hardly anything you know there's been a, a couple of times where if you bought on the dip you've done well and then it goes up and you think that's it and uh, if you trim some you, you know you might make some nice little profits in the short term but long term you know th these companies are just bouncing up and down up and down up and down and you can see it here in the Russell. Uh, the Russell's hardly done anything. Uh, the Russell 2000's hardly done anything over the last few months. And I'm sure you've got a few, a few of them likes of companies in there that are doing that. You know, you look at your likes of Tattoo Chef, um, your likes of DraftKings, for example, uh, your likes of Corsair, for example. You know, you look at them sort of companies, um, even though the companies are performing very well, the share price is not really doing anything. Now, the big thing is to kind of always remember, like, if we look at what's kind of gone on, we have been on a good run. Be patient. You know, stocks can't just carry on going like that forever. They have to take breathers. There'll be points of time where they go down, where they go up. But the thing is, what you've always got to remember is when you zoom out, I mean, it looks a pretty decent chart. But in that kind of little period, 
like this little bit, bit here, you, it doesn't look like much, but when you're in them stocks and you kind of have them stocks that are moving up 8%, down 8%, you do feel a bit more than what it looks like on that chart, which is something to be really uh, thoughtful about. And it, you could re repeat the exact same thing on some of the, these UK stocks as well. Now, the big thing that I wanted to say today is um, about not making this mistake, and I'm starting to see a few people start to make this mistake. Um, what happened is, we, I think we saw a few people make these this mistake that got into the stock market maybe around March time, um, maybe around um, even a little bit later than that, got to February and the stock market kind of didn't do anything and they went, I'm bored of this. And I think as well what's happening now is people have got in the stock market since February and have been in now to July are going, I'm bored, the stock market is not doing anything. And I think a few people are probably the one hardest, the, the hardest thing in the stock market probably, and that is patience. And a few people are making the mistake of getting into this game, this long-term investing game. You know, the amount of time I'm hearing people um, say they're long-term investors for like two to five years, and then in three, four, five, six months, they go, oh, I'm not doing this anymore. My company's not doing anything. They're like, hold on, you're investing for the long-term, but now you're judging your company's off a few months because it's not doing anything. If you have that sort of mindset, you're gonna really struggle with the stock market. You know, the, as a long-term investor, it might take a while for them sort of things that you're buying the company for to play out and you've got to be really careful of that and I'm seeing a few people losing patience and that's the main reason why people struggle in the stock market especially as long-term investors and, I, and I, I, I saw a comment actually it was it must have been about three weeks ago and I, um, clearly I think clearly it's uh, living rent free in my head right now but um, someone put on um, uh, this the video I was talking about how to scale up a portfolio and they put a comment on the video saying oh well if it was that easy why doesn't everyone do it and I was like, the, the, I could have made a video on that on its own, but this is exactly one of the reasons why everyone doesn't do that, because people don't have the patience. People want things instantly. People want these, uh, you know, get get rich quick schemes, you know, all the time, and uh, it just doesn't happen. If you're investing in the stock market for long term, you can't go from a hundred dollars to one hundred thousand dollars within six months. <laughs> you, you're crazy. It's all about patience, and this is why people can't do this game, and why so many people make loads of good money in the long term, because they have the patience, they appreciate that it takes a while for this to develop, and why some people just don't do it, or they try and do it and they don't do it, it's because they don't have the patience, and it's probably the hardest thing in the stock market. And I'm starting to see that right now, because I'm seeing quite often now, um, people you know, people got used to that kind of jump into February, and then people gone, oh, they've not done anything, like February, March, April, like they went, oh, these stocks haven't done anything for two months now, all they've been doing is going up and up, I'm not doing this anymore, and they're sold out. And then there's people that have probably bought in probably the February time, that have now been investing in the stock market, going, oh, I've been doing this for like four or five months now, and my portfolio isn't reflecting it. And yeah, I'm starting to see, I'm seeing people that talk about, you know, plenty of companies out there, not just the ones that I look at, um, like, you know, for example, Huyer or Gang, for example, you know, them two companies in the last, um, you know, couple of months have done nothing. Um, and I've seen a few people say like, oh, that them companies aren't doing anything, but even companies that I, I generally don't own, um, you know, probably one of the biggest ones on YouTube, I guess, which is like Palantir, I guess. Uh, you look at that one, um, you know, over the last few months, that company's pretty much done nothing. Um, and um, people are going, oh, I'm not buying this, this, I'm not holding this company anymore, it's not doing anything and stuff like that. There's plenty of stocks out there. Basically, you know, if we just look at the Russell, the Russell is a prime example. You know, a lot of these companies in, in the Russell um, haven't done anything and people losing patience. And those are the people that really do struggle with the stock market long term. And a prime example is this. So Apple, probably one of the greatest um, companies you could own, uh, you know, especially over the last few years, you know, probably one of the best investments. This, this company has, you know, brand loyalty where you basically buy an iPhone and you're probably not going to get another phone. You probably upcycle, get the next iPhone that comes out, they keep you in. You stay there and, you know, you might get an iPad, you might get a MacBook, um, you know, then they reinvent themselves. They've got the clouds, uh, they've got the uh, services side of it now, the AirPods, the wearable watch. I mean, look at me here. I'm, I'm, I'm literally a prime example of this. I am currently recording this on an iPhone, wearing an Apple watch, while recording my screen on a MacBook. <laughs> and I can see my AirPods just behind it. And it's just a prime example of a, a great company with great brand, great products, great, a great company, we all agree. You know, if you want 
what you want to do when you get into the stock market you want to buy great companies and you want to buy great companies that grow profit and revenue what has apple done over the next over the last 10 years they've carried on being a great company bring out new products that are successful and um yeah the re revenue's grown the profit's grown what's happened on the share price well you know what let's go over the last 10 years let's go back to 2010 let's find 2010 on apple here uh let's we'll go from february right we'll go from february 2011 from February 2011, you know, this company's, you know, reinvent itself of all these products. Look at that, 1,000% in 10 years. Really good returns, isn't it? Really, really good returns. And this is an example of the benefits of, um, you know, buying a great company that don't focus, you know, quite often there's a the famous uh, saying from Jeff Bezos, you know, uh, the company is not the share price and the share price isn't the company. But what has Apple, Apple done? Eventually, you know, it's great products, great sales, great profit. Eventually, people go, you know what, I want to buy that company. There'll be points in there where, you know, the Apple here, look, there you go, um, 2012, a 34% dip. Um, down here, you know, you can see a 22% dip. Uh, here in 2018, you can see a little bit of dip here, you know, that's a 31% dip. There's, there's points where this company lost 30% of its valuation over a, like a, a couple of months period. Does that reflect what's going on in the company? No, you know, the company hasn't changed to lose 30% of its value. Um, and you just got, that's what you got to focus on. What's the company doing? Don't look at the share price. As long as the company keeps moving in the right direction, eventually people, investors, Wall Street wake up and go, oh, that 30% dip was a bit of a overreaction, weren't it? We should probably buy this company, shouldn't we? And that's what they do, you know, in investors, Wall Street can sometimes uh, overreact to good news and it can overreact to bad news. And um, it's, it's like if you go on a five year chart here, going back to the whole point in this video, which is, you know, don't make this mistake. And this mistake is don't get caught up in the last six months. You know, you've got to have patience when you're investing in the long term. For example, right, if I go from, let's go, let's go from uh, 1st of December 2017. So if you held from the 1st of December, 2017 to June 2019 so we're talking um, a, a, a decent amount of period of time here you know you're only up 11% on this company it's a great company in that time what has the company done and um, you know iPhone cycle keeps coming up brings the services out wearables iPods you know and then over long term periods you can see 242% which is a pretty good return. I think we would all take that. I think we would, we would all agree we would probably take 242% over that year of time. Sure, you can argue there's probably investments that will be up even more than that and you might go for them investments, but that's not a bad investment. <laughs> let's, let's get that straight. You know, that's a really, that's a good investment. We'd all take that at the end of the day. Uh, you know, it's a very good return and that's, that's patience. That's holding that over the course of a four or five year period. But the thing is, is like we go back to the whole point is, don't lose patience there'll be investors in there that will have will have held them shares and uh, they would have lost patience they would have sold they would have looked at that company and gone oh you know that company um apple over the last kind of year and a half the company's not done anything but in that time what is the actual company doing it's doing very well and what happens the profit revenue grow profit and revenue grows i mean just look at this little spike here what we were going from just in that little period there in six months it went up 72%. It went up seven times what it did in a year and a half. That quick. And that's how quick Wall Street and investors can can change. That's how quick they can change from going, oh, don't buy that company. And so they realize, oh, it's actually doing very well. Let's go buy it. And this is how, this is what I always say is like, don't try time the market because when Wall Street, when investors realize, oh yeah, that, that company is actually really good, they flood in so quick. You know, like I said there, 10% in a year and a half. It did 70% in a third of that and that's what happens and you try time the market you can get stung by that and the big thing to avoid that is having patience as long as you buy patience if you are if you have patience which is the hardest thing to do you will get the rewards and um you'll, you'll get good returns in the stock market and like i say that's just a prime example of look at what the company is doing don't focus on the share price you know look at what the company is doing if the company is doing well that's all you can ask for and eventually investors will come into that company at some point and that kind of goes to the point about you know when we'll go back to here in this period here you know how many companies you probably own that 
in this period have brought out really good earnings, profits growing, revenues growing, but they're not doing anything. Don't worry, because I tell you what, further down the line, it might not be tomorrow, it might not be in six months' time, it might not be in 12 months' time, but eventually, if you have a company that's doing well, and it, like I said, the Russell will show this as well, it will start going up. And that's the main thing, is don't focus on the share price right now. Have patience, just make sure your company's delivering on what they said they were gonna do, and things will turn out okay. And um, yeah, I mean, this week it was just one of those where it just went down 7% and when, when the stock market goes down that much, everyone got everyone's panic stations and, oh, what's going on this company? What's going on with this company? Um, what shall I do? And, um, you know, panic sell or I'm fed up with these companies when these are the sort of periods where you want to, where you see a little bit deep like this, and you can go, oh, it's just lost 7% of its value and I really like the company, it's performing very well. Oh, it's just brought preliminary earnings out that's grown 130% and raised its outlook and it's just lost a lot of value. You know, consider, you know, that's just this, this, the share price. Think about what the company is doing long term and the share price will follow that at some point as investors and Wall Street wake up. So yeah, I hope this was a little bit of a useful video. Like I said, I don't want to make it kind of, I don't want to make it a big kind of deep pep talk of like, you're going to be okay because I don't think we're at that sort of point, but just kind of um, a point of view of like, oh, um, people getting losing patience, getting bored of stocks and kind of moving out and, you know, don't, make that mistake because um, there'll be a, a few people that do leave the stock market um, and have left the stock market and will leave the stock market the longer this happens but do not lose patience because great companies will go up eventually and uh, like we showed Apple is a prime example of that and uh, don't make that mistake it's tricky it's tricky you've got to change the mindset it's it's definitely you appreciate a lot more when you've kind of been through that situation of seeing a stock not do anything and then it does something um, you know it is amazing, it's the kind of light bulb moment when you go, wow, that's how quick things can change, you know, uh, you know, look at Tesla, Tesla in 2019 did nothing, uh, got, well, kind of got to the back end of tw or 2018, 2019, didn't do anything, got to like the back end of 2019, 2020, boom, you know, skyrockets, and there's a lot of companies like that, and there'll be, there'll be even more companies in the future um, that do that over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, uh, it will happen again and again and again. And uh, yeah, hopefully that was uh, a useful video after this week. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button, new subscribe. If you do want to join the Patreon, I've been buying quite a few companies this week. If you do want to join the Patreon where I do buy or sell companies, link is in the description. Uh, and like I said, I have been buying. If you do want to start investing, there's some links to some brokers in the description, like Free Trade. You join through there, you get a free share as well. But anyway, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was useful. Uh, a bit of an educational uh, video series, I guess, and sometimes you guys enjoy that little mixing, I guess, and uh, yeah, see you on the next video.